What is going on, my little bunny babies? Welcome back to the vault. It's your boy, MC, take my breath away, titties. And the film I will be reviewing today is Top Gun Maverick. Again, my apologies, it has been like three weeks since my last few uploads. Just incredibly busy all the time. I appreciate the ones that have stuck by as subscribers, but having said that, I just jump straight into it. Uh, this one opens in pretty much the same vein as the original from the 80s, uh, with fighter jets taking off and the uh, highway to the danger zone playing in the background before we catch catch back up once again with Maverick. Um, really awesome cast for this one. Tom Cruise reprises the role as Maverick, uh, a naval aviation pilot, and it's pretty much just Cruise that returns. Um, from the original. He is, however, joined by a slew of new and up-and-coming talent. There's Monica Barbaro, uh, Glenn Powell, who was honestly great, um, Lewis Pullman, Danny Ramirez and Jay Ellis. Um, all were great and held their own alongside Miles Teller, uh, John Hamm, Ed Harris and Charles Parnell. Um, it was also a great blast from the past to see Jennifer Connelly in this film. Not only is she just a wonderful actress, she's also a timeless beauty who hasn't, who hasn't aged, it seems, at all since the 80s. Um, I know she was a poster girl for young men back in that decade and I can honestly see why. Um, everyone is fantastic, honestly, and really adds to the overall... Uh, film and experience. Um, story of this one kicks off 30 years after the original and sees Maverick taking on the job of training other Top Gun graduates in order to carry out a dangerous mission. Um, what can I say? Um, after watching the 86 Top Gun only really recently uh, for the first time, I know I'm terrible, um, this is honestly such a faithful and just downright entertaining follow-up film. Um, the narrative moves from beat to beat seamlessly, which allows the pace to keep ticking. Um, this, is this is also the first film in a long time um, that masterfully and perfectly weighed the more serious moments with the humorous ones. Um, so many films these days will sacrifice um, a great dramatic moment for a silly gag looking at you Marvel um uh they'll sacrifice you know um for a silly for a silly gag they'll sacrifice the jokes in this film however sorry uh feel super organic and deserved um this film is honestly a perfect perfect example of if you, of if you stick to the original source material and don't stray too far from it and you're guaranteed a box office success you're guaranteed box office gold um just look at ghostbusters afterlife last year um you know, went back to its roots and was one of the best films of 2021, in my humble opinion. An incredibly strong script with an expert cast uh, relaying it. Um, if the story, you know, wasn't fantastic enough, then the action special effects were something else, honestly. Um, the fact that most of the effects were practical, honestly, blows my mind. The fact that they put IMAX cameras into actual fighter planes blows it even more. The fact that Tom Cruise is a trained fighter, can can is trained to, to work a fight a fighter plane it's just it's uh, um the end action sequence is honestly edge of the seat stuff when i say i was on the edge i was actually on the edge of my seat um it was just incredible um this is why i love and respect tom cruise so 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 much Every film he makes is entertaining and jaw dropping. You can tell that you can tell that he loves the work that he does, and for that he will forever have my admiration. Ignore all the weird Scientology stuff. This is a man who is committed to every single film, to making every single film he's in entertaining. Um, do yourself a favor and watch this on an IMAX screen if you can. If you can't, then it sucks to be you. Um, the only thing I learned from this was that I need to stop. I need to drop everything and become an aviation pilot. I'm sure I can probably do that at 31, right? Um, there we have it, guys. There's my very quick review for Top Gun Maverick. I didn't want to put too much into this review because, you know, you guys should go watch it yourselves and enjoy it yourselves. Uh, so let's just jump to two most important questions. Question number one, would I recommend this film? 100% I recommend this film. Even if you haven't seen the, the original 86 film, then this film has enough, you know, flashbacks and you know callbacks so you don't even necessarily need to watch the first film i would recommend watching the first film because it is a classic try not to judge it too harshly you know it was made in a in a decade where you know hollywood cheese was very much a thing um even if you haven't seen the the original and you know 
this is still just an incredibly entertaining uh, film, follow-up film. So for that reason, I would 100% recommend it, if not for the just amazing action sequences and practical effects. Um, question number two, does this film belong in the vault? I guess my only issue was that the film was a little cheesy in parts with the dialogue, but then that just added to the, the 80s nostalgia, I guess. It's kind of made you reminisce about the, the 86 film. As I said before, like... I just love when, you know, a reboot like this or a sequel like this just just keeps to the source material, keeps to what made the original so great in the first place. Um, I've always found that if you do that, you're guaranteed box office gold nine times out of ten. You know, just, just stop straying away from, you know, what made these films so enjoyable, you know, and what made people enjoy these films so much way back when looking at you ghostbusters 2016 even though i did enjoy that film um there we have it guys uh no wait hang on so for that reason because it stayed so true to the original 80s film and because the action sequences were amazing and because tom cruise just fucking kills and everything he does and there's that little diamond star that's gone off followed by the howl of a fighter jet there we have it guys there's my review for top gun maverick if you've seen it and you loved it, let me know what you loved down in the comments below. If you hated it, I haven't seen anyone say they disliked this film yet. Um, again, I might be interested to in know what you disliked. As always, guys, if you like what I'm doing here, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with your friends, your pets, your families, your friendly neighbourhood, Scientologist fighter pilots. Until the next one, peace and love, my dude.